Hi there, folks. This is Sean Barter from in West Palm Beach, and I'm speaking to Mr. Peter Bankema. He's the president and CEO of CBR Medical. They have a brand new device. The company is rolling out and uh, looks quite interesting, and he's going to give you the scoop on what the device is, how it works, and what his company is up to. Could you please speak to my subscribers? Sure. How are you doing today? Thanks for having me. Um, so our device is capable of determining your your likelihood of having a stroke and how it does that it, it um, works on the number one indicator to stroke which is carotid arterial disease blockage so our device can very quickly in a two minute test tell you the level of stenosis in your carotid artery um, bypassing a lot of the current testing that's necessary and tell you very quickly whether you're at risk for stroke the other good thing about the device it also follows you through your life and keeps you from getting those blockages in your carotid artery. It tells you what your arterial health is and they can intervene much earlier. So we go down that, that fairway of uh, preventative care. Okay, and so there's most of the ways of actually doing this now are actually quite expensive, isn't right. that right? Well, yeah, that's actually that's actually the, the thrust of the, the entire problem is there's no cost-effective way to determine your likelihood for, for stroke using mm -hmm. something like duplex Doppler ultrasound. Um, the cost is prohibitive and the false positive level false negative level is prohibitive. Our cost is very inexpensive. The device costs the primary care physician about $55,000. Um, in medical device terms, that's very, very inexpensive, and they would lease it for about $1,000 a month. Mm -hmm. From that, they are gonna charge the patient about $100 per test, and that pays for the cost of the device and, and all of the overheads, and the doctor makes a little bit extra money while he's in his practice. But what he really is able to do is determine whether you're at risk for, for ischemic stroke. Mm -hmm. That's really important. Think about we save one or two strokes. We've done an amazing job. What if we save thousands of strokes or hundreds of thousands of strokes worldwide? It's very important to what's going on right now in the medical system. Right, and like we hear about this all the time, people are hit down by strokes all the time. Luke Perry just passed away from a stroke. Just passed away from a stroke. He was only 54 years old. The thing took him like shame. that. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. And it's just it's something else that you need to know is stroke is the the largest single line item on the Medicare budget. Is it really? It's the largest single line item. So if we can avoid some of those, it's amazing. But you're right, a lot of people have just passed recently from stroke. There's a number of them, and it just doesn't need to happen. Okay, how does your device work anyway? What's so it do? what it basically does, it listens to the blood flow in the carotid artery, which is mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. We have some special microphones that go over here. It just listens to that, that sound, and then um, after a short period of time, less than two minutes of uh, sound data, we can interpret that almost into a language that says, you have a blockage of X. Mm -hmm. So then we come, it comes into the NASA category and tells the doctor this patient is in need of further um, examination and they, they will then take and, and run that patient and do further testing without that false positive, false ne negative level that's currently in, in the market. Excellent. So what kind of news can uh we expect from your company, say, over the course of the next year? Whoa, I'm in a dangerous place here because we're going through all sorts of things and I can't really um, tell you much. We are in the FDA right now for, for FDA clearance. And okay. That, that ties my hands on what I can really tell you until the news comes out. We're okay. also publicly traded, which means we also have to press release people before I give you too much information. But we're planning on coming to market with the device in this year. Okay. Now, the FDA could um, ask us questions and slow us down a bit, but we think we're in pretty good shape for the FDA. No guarantees of that, but we, we're in a pretty happy place there, and we're right now ramping up for mark from sales and, and marketing. Canon is one of our partners, by the way. They're actually our, our major partner. They're actually building devices for us. They're actually cutting molds right now and getting our devices ready for market. So okay. that's a huge piece that we're, we have that all solved right now. Everything is re ready to come to market as soon as we clear our deal. So how many of these devices could you sell in a year, do you think? And, and that's a question I can't answer. Okay. Obviously. There's potentially in the United States 285,000 potential sales in the United States. All right. If we do, remember that? A little, this percentage, 1% of the market, we've done amazing things. So mm -hmm. in the first year, the ramp up is going to be remarkable. Okay. All right. Good. So since we mentioned the stock, let's give them the stock symbol. So there's two symbols right now, CBM, which is the Canadian exchange that's on the, P, uh, the PFX in Canada, in Toronto, and the other symbol in the United States, this is the over-the-counter, CRRBF, Victor Frank, and that's traded on the over-the-counter. OTCQB, I believe. OTCQB, so yes. Um, we are planning on a lift sometime in the near future to the American exchanges. It is in the near future, but right now we're over the counter, and, like you said, and it's CRRVF. All right. This is a company with a brand new device, disruptive, 
it's actually cost effective. A great need for it, obviously, because we all know somebody who's had some kind of problem with stroke. Um, has some growth ahead of it, has some things happening that he really can't talk about right now, but you can use your own imagination. Keep your eye on this one. I I am going to keep my eye on it as well. We will look at it more closely. Thanks very much for speaking to my uh, Thank you. viewers. Is there anything you'd like to add before we go? I think we're good there. We're getting ready for the marketplace, and we're rock and rolling with the company, so we are ex executing the company. Okay. Thanks very much, Peter. You folks stay tuned. This is Sean Broderick in West Palm Beach. Another great company for you.